inside the router, go ahead and turn off DHCP. Also turn off UPnP, universal plug and play. You won't need it. And UPnP has vulnerabilities to hacking anyways. Now all wireless routers have different features depending on the brand, the type, and the age of the router. Some routers have bridge mode or repeater mode or WDS. And some routers don't have those features at all. And this particular router from Netgear does not have any of those features. But lucky for us, this router has a feature called wireless access point. So we'll go to that tab right away, and then we're going to enable wireless access point. And we're going to choose the feature that allows our main router to hand out IP addresses to this router. So not only will this be a wireless access point, these LAN ports will work as well. Next thing you want to do is go to wireless settings, and the SSID of this access point needs to be different than your main router. So go ahead and type that in, give it a different password. I would go ahead and use the exact same security that you have for your original router. We're going to use WPA2. After that, go ahead and save your changes.